have hundred source files only. Okay, you can do union hundred source tables or files, whatever it is, you can do it. But now suppose I have hundred files only, not tables, only files. I have hundred source files with same structure. I want to send it to single target. So you know you can do it, but the easiest method is indirect file method. It is very simple concept. We'll finish in five minutes. Indirect file method. I have hundred source files with same structure. I want to send it to single target. What to do? Indirect file method. What is this? Indirect file method. When sources are files only, it will not work with tables. It will not work with tables. Only files. Okay. What to do now? Please observe. What to do? Suppose I have four files. This is in that file method. Types of tasks we'll see later. Types of tasks we'll see tomorrow. So today. Indirect file method we will see. This is three I'll give. Indirect file method. So I have four files having same structure, correct? Location, ID, address, postal code, city, state, country, ID, salary. Others also same structure. UK also same structure. US also same structure. I want to send it to single target. Okay? Yes, please. All are pipe delimited. All are dat files. I want to send it to all four. Suppose. These are 100 records, 100 records, 100 records, 100 records, 400 records will go to target. 400 records will go to target. Shall we do the mapping? It's very easy. Simple, simple mapping. Okay. Suppose like this, you have 100 sources with same structure. You know it to import all 100. Again, importing 100 will take time. Correct? Again, importing 100 sources will take time. So import anyone because structure is same. Metadata is same for all the four. So import anyone, anyone, you choose anyone and import it as a source. Import as a source. Any one source. What are those? FF location Japan, right? I'll import FF location Japan. FF location Japan. Click on OK. Import field name. Next. Pipe delimiter. Next. Next. Finish. FF location Japan. Imported. Now change the data types. Location ID number 20. Address string 255. Postal code. Postal code is what? Postal code is number only. Is it number? Yeah, postal code is number. Number 20. City string 255. State 255. Country 255. Salary number 8 comma 2. Okay? Yes, please. Now, if you look at about Japan is imported. Let's see postal code. Country ID is not a number. Country ID is a string. Postal code also string, please. Postal code also string, guys. See? MSV217. This is location ID. Address, postal code. Postal code also string. So, postal code also string. It's string 255. Only salaries number eight comma two and location ID number done. Now create a target. Target also same structure anyways. Drag source to target. Drag source to target. Create any target like this. LOC TGT something. Any target name as per mapping document or whatever. It's the Oracle table. It's already there. Uh, TGT underscore LOC will say. Yeah. So it's Oracle table. It's our record table. It can be file also. It can be file also. Okay, now string can have digits. Yes, strings can have digits. Now generate and execute. Generate and execute. Done. Now create a mapping. M underscore TGTLOC. Indirect file method. What is this? Indirect file method. So drag one source and the target. TGT location. 
indirect soil method. So just one tone mapping. Done. One tone mapping done. Now create a session workflow. Generate. Create a session workflow. Yeah. Now everything is in workflow now. We have to do here. Before opening the session, what you do? Now in the session, if you see, I can see only one file name, right? FF location Japan. But I have 100 files, correct? But I have 100 files. I cannot write 100 files here. I can write only one. So there is one bypass method. So this is called a bypassing the source file. How see, please? So there are total four files. In the SRC files, in SRC files location, in SRC file location, I'll create one more file. So there are four files already. There are five, four files already. What are those files? FF location Japan, FF location Japan, others UK, US, like this 100 files we have. With this, I'll create one more file. What is this? List.txt. List, L-I-S-T dot TXT. Anyway, text only. In this list, what I will do? I will give full paths of all my 100 files. Full paths means, so where is this FF location Japan is there? Here, correct? In this path, slash, this file name dot txt. Okay. Same way I should, I will give 100 files like this. Next one is FF locations others. FF locations UK. FF location Japan, US. FF location US. All are dat files. Okay, dat files then. Dot dat. Dot dat. Okay. So like this, how many source files are there? Those many files I will give here. Are you clear? Okay. So if you have 100 files, you have to give 100 pops. There is no other way. There is no other way. So you create one more file called list.txt or list whatever. So in that, you give full paths of your source files where they are present with the extension and save it. Well, after that, after that, go to workflow manager. Your source file type, all should be same structure. Yes, all should be same structure. All should be same structure, same delimiter, same delimiter. Now here source file type direct is there, no? Under sources, source file type is direct. Here you select indirect. And here you give list.txt. Here you give this list.txt. Instead of this source file name, give list.txt. Now what it will do? If it is indirect means, it will go to list.txt and it will read all the data in these files and it will load to target. Are you clear? So what do you have to do? Source file type, make it as indirect and source file name, list.txt. List is a .txt file. List is .txt file, text document list.txt you can give list.dat also anything is fine and then click on ok and target right target connection target should be what it is it out all and bulk to normal save run it now see there are total 23 records loaded actually ff location japan is having two records only correct ff location japan is having two records only Two in, in all these 23 records are there. All 23 records loaded to target. Check please. Yes, guys. Check the target. TGT LOC. Select star from TGT LOC. Executed. Done. All 23 records. Yes, please. Did you understand what is indirect file method? So this is the most asked entry question in real time. In in interview. In real time, we will never use this. Very rarely we will use it. They will ask if I have 100 files with the same structure, what to do? Only files. Tables will not work. If I have 100 files with the same structure, what to do? So take 
So import any one source and connect to target and then create a list file and give 100 paths, 100 source paths, file paths in that. Do it. After that, in the session properties, give, in, give source file type as, uh, give source file type as indirect, give source file type as indirect and give the source file name as list.txt instead of original file name. So to do this, to do this, all files must be with the same structure and also same delimiter and also same delimiter. Are you clear? Are you clear, please, everyone? 